Nothing goes down better on a hot Australian summer day than a warm Foster's. Okay, it might be Mario Day for some people. It's always Mario Day for me. Here's an old one. We keep just digging back into the back catalog, don't we? Super Cool World is a 2019 ROM hack by Furpy McFrosting. And you might, you know, if you're into the ROM hacking scene, you might know who Furpy McFrosting is. Um, you might re recall like one of the recent GDQ events that had that wild, crowd-pleasing Mode 7 level. That's Furpy, but guess what? Back in 2019, that that wasn't happening. It was just normal. It was just a 24 exit Kaizo Intermediate ROM hack. The first ever one. Um, and there's custom stuff with a vanilla feel. There's shell jumps. And there's probably fun levels, but you're not going to find Chuck Gates, Fishing Booze, or Mean Trolls. Have fun and tell everyone how cool this hack is. It's super cool. Because it's got a 5 with 10 ratings. Um, man, look at this. It looks alright. Looks pretty dece. That's certainly a way to not have floating munches. I think we talked about this the other day when I was doing, like, um, Lunar Magic stuff. Some people love these, like, ledge tiles to make the munches float. Because that's all they do. They're, they're not serving any gameplay function. They're just making sure the munches aren't floating in the sky. Also, that jump looks ridiculous. Also, nippers in my Mario world? I don't think so. Cool number platform level. Cool. That's the ghost tree house, I guess. Yeah, we're inside a ghost house doing stuff. It looks kind of alright. We go there and then go back. It's a nice idea. What are those blocks? I don't know what they are. But I guess they're sprite solids? Who the hell knows? Yeah, they probably are, so you can recollect the shell. Um, oof, I don't know about this. It's fine. I would prefer a black outline, I'm just saying. And then a very, very dark ghost level. It's pretty cool. 2019, early 2019. Man, looks pretty good. And uh, there's a lot of comments. Yeah, Glitchcat says the hack has some teeth as well, but it's not too difficult. A lot of people saying it's fun, super cool, great hack. Like Third Ball liked it, and so did Link Dead. Some people made an account just to let them know it was awesome. Uh, noob is struggling on the fifth level. Aesthetics nice, cool. Only complaint, the bunch of the levels in the first half have some visual clarity issues where you can't really tell what's a wall or not. I understand that, but I haven't seen it in motion. Uh, I think the exit is 21, not 24. All right, well, we'll investigate that. There might be some secret exits and stuff, but that's a super cool world on SMW Central. Let's, uh, let's play some stuff. Super cool world, Furpy McFrosting. Apparently it's a really long, a 24 exit intermediate. Mario is going on another adventure. Nobody got kidnapped or anything. Adventures are just cool. Yeah, I guess so. That's what it said. <laughs> That's in Furpy's Tinder bio. He just loves adventures. Um, cool status bar adjustments. Okay, base camp. Welcome to Super Cool World. This is my first ever full ROM hack, so hopefully it's cool enough for you. You don't know me very well. Everything is too cool for me. All right, um, nice black. The black isn't black, which is a nice, interesting touch. It is up there, though. Really comprehensive overworld. There's nothing blank. A lot of stuff going on here, really cool. I guess if you've got 24 exits, you're gonna need a lot of overworld. Uh, Wiggle Munch Hills. Any wiggling munches? That is not a grab block, that is just a block. Do these guys jump when I jump? Yes, they do. Um... Vine is climbable. Boing, boing. Where do we go? 
They do adjust their trajectory to kind of try and match you. Uh, we can just run off this. Uh, or maybe we jump over. And ride the Wiggler. Ooh. Ah, uh, checkpoint. That was really nice to see. I was getting stressful. Tip, the nippers will jump even if you're under or right next to them. What if I'm here? Even if you're under or right next to them. So like that. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Can I go in that pipe? And then what do you... Oh, there's a winged platform there. Okay, that makes sense. We saw this in the screenshot. Looks super sketchy. Okay. Hold right. Uh, oh my god. He knows about standing directly under. How would I jump over? How would I get it through here? What am I looking? I gotta like jump over the dude, right? Can you do that? That looks like a messed up jump. No, I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Okay, aesthetics are really, they're not working for me. Yeah, exactly. I could just walk under. I could just walk under, okay? <laughs> go here and just go under, right? Oh, no. Go here. Don't jump into the muncher. Oh, man, he really throws him, doesn't he? So if I'm like directly under it, it, do it goes straight up. But if I'm in the block next to it, I think it overshoots. Are you serious? Dude, what the hell? There's no way that's like ever happened. You just got to scroll that guy off. Oh my goodness. This is a disaster. So if I'm directly under, it does that. If I'm on this tile, I don't, I'm not safe on this tile. I'd have to be on, like on the right side of the tile and then go back. No, I don't even think I'm safe there. I think I just got to go. This is a jump to do in Super Mario World. One of the all time jumps that are possible. There we go. Oh, Chuckle Cove. Because there's chucks, you see. That's why we're chuckling. And having a good time. Boing. Oops. There we go. So, why is there... Uh, it's probably like a chuck. Chuck head. Whoops, what happened to my jumps? Alright. You chuckle head. You chowder head. Oh. Get up. Bounce, bounce. Oh. 
That was easy to do, actually. That was, that's a good an example of a good football setup. You don't have to predict when it's going to come out. Did I just get wall clipped? I don't know what that was. It doesn't matter. We'll do it better next time. Interesting use of the two-tone pipes to achieve something. Down. He's a fiver. Come on, buddy. Cool ideas for chuck setups. They're a bit slow, but they're fine. Okay, he, he jumps back and forth. What am I to do? Something like that. Now I'm going to the left. One, yeah. Is it just low, middle, high? I don't know when to jump. Just do a low jump so he doesn't jump. There we are. All right, cool. That uh, was fun. You know, really nice looking game, really uh, interesting ideas. It's it's a very like, you know, some Kaiser games, you just, you gotta go, 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 and you fast, and it's the way that it's been for a few years. This is a very considered kind of design, I guess. You can just chill out and see what's going on for now. Viridian Pass. It's an auto scroller. Alright. One, two. Had to go off the front, didn't I? That's what the coins are trying to tell me. Ah, uh, all right. Well, now I know what's over there. One, zero. It's a, uh, okay. Just, you know what would be good if I had to make a suggestion? is to know where the platforms start and stop, if you're gonna make an auto-scroller. I just gotta learn what the diagonal platform does. There was a little bit more time on it. Than I, than I thought. There. Go up. Thank you. door with the checkpoint and another scroll it's starting to get fast I think This is like one of the first things you'll see if you go on SMW Central and look for a cool hack. Storks! Yeah, I already played it. I don't want to play it again. <laughs> I didn't enjoy everything about it. Uh. Yeah, never would have guessed. Number one, Storks, Apes, and Crocodiles fan. Okay, that's the goal. Very cool. Okay, we've got Cliffside Campsite. It says, it's a long way up and it may not be possible to progress if you fall too far, so if you do, I suggest dying and starting over. Alright. We're trying to get over it, I guess.
Now, is that a grab block? Yes. Is that a shell jump? One, two, three, four, four. yeah, okay. Gotta jump. One. Sprawing? That ain't good. Alright. I'm just getting impatient at this boring vertical level. up there. Uh, I guess I'll find out once I bring the springboard. Yeah. Checkpoint. Oh, I see. Oh, that's solid. That's kind of nasty, dude. That, I reckon that's... Is that a mistake for that to be solid? I don't know. And this isn't solid. Alright. Maybe it's not... Oh, there's the lag. That's the lag I was looking for. Really good. Four. Uh... goodness. So I wonder if that respawns the platform. It doesn't. Okay. Oh, that's alright. We got a midway. Alright. So. I don't, I don't actually know what to do here. Because you can't j jump through that. Oh, you go here. Okay. All right. It's okay. Now what? It wants me to slide and jump. Lag D's. With pleasure. So, do a shell jump, do a bean, this was not a redemption by someone, this was just uh, my idea of a good time apparently. Oh boy, you don't want to, you don't want to fall down on that one. I wonder, I wonder about that level. Also, I don't know what that weird uh, level it just appeared was. Let's go back. I saw Learn to Show was submitted. Yeah, dude, there was like a weird event that showed a, uh, a level appearing over there. It's not real. All right, Ballistic Boneyard. Certainly got some names. For, uh, for levels. Right, uh, dash lamer. Oh my god, I haven't heard anyone being called a lamer in, uh, in decades. There we go. What the hell is this? Sinusoidal. Oh, that wasn't a midway. 
Oh yeah, the... Yeah. Someone called you zero skills. Wow. That's pretty good. Nine souls? More like zero skills. Wow, I bet. <laughs> How long did it take you to pick yourself up after that one floored you? Sure. Yeah, zero kills. Oh, hang on. What the hell is this? Okay, they have two speeds now. You know what AOL is? It was a uh, spam that would appear in your letterbox, apparently. Dolphin, then go over. That was weird. All right, now we've got the two different Teds. One of them speeds way. Wait, where did the other one go? Oh my god! All right, well let's, let's respawn them both. Cause I can't. the bullet and do a bounce in the back a back thing I guess uh, or forwards who the hell knows and spin hit Okay, so I've got to, like, spawn this guy. What up, my zoomers? Okay, one screen. Letting you down, Mario. I did, I added the Mario Day tag so everyone knows that I'm going to be playing Mario today. Let's see if I remember to take it off <laughs> tomorrow or within the next year. We'll see how that goes. So over this one, under this one. It's that easy. And then you go under all the dolphins. Under that one. Go fast. Slowest dolphin. So sorry, slowest torpedo Ted you got. hell is this? I'm gonna get sniped by that somehow. I'm not. Alright. Whew! Got it done. Okay, uh, a red level. We got two exits to locate. It's Rotten Hollow. Certainly a level. Oh, this is one of the levels that I've seen with my eyes. We got, uh, we got ice. No, I haven't seen any of those. It must be one of those Zuma memes. 
that you know about. Am I right? Up. There's some interesting choices in this ROM hack. That's not a bad thing. Real quick, just a lot of, uh, yeah, verticality and back and forth. Down, midway. Alright, uh, cool. Uh, was there a secret egg? I forgot about the secret exit thing. Worry about it next time. I don't know what was going on there. Well, I'm slipping. It's based. It's based on a true story. Jump. There's the end. All right. All right. We're back. We've got to do the, the secret exit. Keep an eye out. Anything that looks sus. We're like at the midway already. So where the hell am I going? I mean, I just got to finish the level. It's so like, you saw it? Oh my god. That's just hard, because you're looping back and forth so much. I gotta... Is it in the first half or the second half? You can see the exit, but not the way to it. Alright, I didn't see the exit. Is it down here? Ah. Oh. There's no way you see that. I couldn't see that. I just was like, well, I better try jumping down pits. That's a annoying secret exit. All right, forgotten ruins. It's a castle. What do we got? Confusion. You could see the keyhole from the midway. Damn, I couldn't. Can I just jump over this? Yeah. It's that simple. Yeah, classic upside down thwimp. Okay. It's a very cluttered foreground. Some might say it's nice looking foreground. Uh, what am I doing here? Why am I putting Yoshi there? Is this vine for anything? Oh, well, I'll do what the thing says. All right, yeah, cool. Then we wrap back over. Boing, boing, get the Yosh. Do a jump. Okay, have to do a little bounce off that. 
and ditch our little green double jump. Oh my god. Okay, so just just go. Oh no, there's an annoying ceiling there. Yeah, a Niv out here just wants to play Super Ghouls and Ghosts. One of those spooky Halloween style games. This guy is square. It says here, Yoshi is fine, welcome by spikes, but these green ones, uh, remove him. Also some sprites will stick to these outlined blocks. It's amazing. Like Mar- like, wait, why- Ah, oh, cause we're gonna go up, alright. And up across. What the hell? What is this? Nothing goes down better on a hot Australian summer day than a warm Foster's and some shrimp, some barbecued shrimp. I wonder if there was a better way to achieve it. said about readability uh the it's fine actually 